What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Let's just talk about quick uh, what's going on with Dogecoin. Dogecoin is now at uh, 19 cents. If you could see down here, actually, you can't see down here. Let's bring this all the way up here. So Dogecoin currently is at 19 cents. It's definitely making a move down, broke past this level of support. We'll get into all of the detail here and what I'm seeing with this position and when I plan on making my move because I can't actually deposit any more money into Weeble. I have to put money into um, uh, Coinbase and then make a move from there. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I don't know what the heck happened there. I feel like everything just like combined uh, just a little bit, all the words that I said, but it doesn't matter. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Um, but we're going to get into this because I've seen, um, you know, Dogecoin Millionaire release a video saying like why he didn't sell at 3 million. I discussed exactly what I felt about or what he should have done. He should have basically did what I did um, <clears throat> and then put more money in at the bottom. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. Um, we can see that I have all these lines drawn for um, for Dogecoin, different support, resistance levels, all that stuff. You can see that this firm resistance level of um, or support level of 19 did get broken, um, you know, as you did uh, see that go past. Now, a lot of these support levels, um, you could see that some of them end up resisting slightly above. Some of them end up, uh, you know, uh, having a, a pushback, you know, slightly below. <clears throat> so am I really concerned about this movement? No, I'm not. This is movement that creates, um, you know, a lot of buying strength because when you have lower prices, a lot of people like to get into the position, but the only thing is they only like to get into the position when they start seeing that upward trajectory. So when you start seeing that move like that and start moving in a fashion where everything's green, that's when people will want to start to buy. This is the reason why you're seeing it stay this low where it is because of the fact that people are not um, willing to buy at those points. So let's extend this out, you know, just looking at two hour candlesticks, we can see that, you know, it's staying around that 19 cent mark. And um, I'm thinking that since it did break past it, I'm thinking we will not see a bounce, but we could see a bounce somewhere around 16, which would be phenomenal if we could see that get down as, uh, you know, 16 again. However, I'm most likely going to be buying at these points. 19 cents is definitely a low point. Would love to be able to do that on Weeble, but I don't have the ability to do it on Weeble fast enough because I can't get the money deposited to where it's cleared and I can use it for crypto. So that's something I'm not going to be able to do, but I can do it over on Coinbase. So definitely expect me to have, you know, a bunch more uh, Dogecoin as we go into, you know, tomorrow. Uh, so anyways, this is exactly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a little bit of a bounce here. Um, we did see a push off of this or um, a pullback off of about 22 to where it did fall back, slightly recovered, but it was more of a false recovery, then started to fall down. And you could see that around, um, you know, that uh, 19 cent mark. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Whoa. And like I said, it broke past it. So I'm definitely expecting this to pull back down. However, cryptocurrency does not follow the same trends that you would see in the stock market. It's not something that 100% follows everything um, that you would see in the stock market, where if you see a strong resistance point, that resistance point holds. No, or a strong support level, that support level holds. That's not the case, right? So I can tell you that I see a strong support level at 16, but that doesn't have to hold. It can fall down depending what people are doing, but it creates a buying opportunity for a lot of people that want to buy into Dogecoin. So this is something that I'm looking to do, but I'll have to buy on a separate platform in order to make that move. So this is where I stand. Let me know your thoughts about Dogecoin. I know some people don't really have a strong feeling about it. A lot of people don't like cryptocurrency at all. Some people only believe in Ethereum and Bitcoin and Litecoin and, you know, some of those other, you know, bigger coins, more stable uh, coins that actually have like usability behind it. Um, let me know your thoughts about Dogecoin, about all cryptocurrency, because I really like to know, I really like to have those conversations or at least read it. If I can't respond to it, I at least like to read it. So guys, that's where my head is right now. I'm thinking about buying, um, another $1,000 uh, worth. That's basically, you know, everything that I would have right now until more, uh, money comes up because obviously all my money ends up going into different forms of investment. I'm not going to hold, you know, wads of cash out here. I'm going to take out, like if I have $900 or $9,000, I'm going to take most of that money, 
put some into a long, um, uh, put it into a um, like Roth IRA, into a, a long term investment account, or some into the short term, some into crypto, things like that. Like I'll spread it about, but once it's in there, it's in there. It's not something to where I'm taking it out and moving it anywhere unless it's a short term account. I can move that to crypto and long term investments depending how much I make. So, um, I still need money to come up because as you've seen with the stock market, a lot of things were dipping down. And um, when those things are dipping down, you want to make those moves and probably buy some. So <clears throat> anyways, Dogecoin currently at 19 cents. I think that it would be great to be able to make your move somewhere between that 16 and 19 cents. Um, but, you know, definitely make your own decision. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do. This is merely just my opinion. And uh, I want to know your opinion because I'm all I'm all ears. You know, even if you have something negative to say about Dogecoin, I'm not going to silence you. You know, I like to if I do have the chance to respond to you, I will have the chance to respond to you and I will do it. Um, but, you know, I will read them all. So know if you have a comment, I'll read them and um, I may address it in my next video. So anyways, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Thank you guys for joining me on another video. I know it's a little late, but um, I'm going to post it anyways, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.